Okay, I am back. You may wonder what this is. This is the base for this awesomeness. This little garland tree. I'm gonna have to work with it and make sure I've got this on right. This I forgot I had, but I bought it this year and I believe it was at a thrift store. I don't know if it was America's Thrift or just a local thrift store we have. But it turns. How cute is that? That would be cute just to decorate with or um, if you were having a party or somebody over, you could turn it on. It runs on two uh, AA batteries. But I thought it was so cute. I wish it played music. Okay, so I should have saved this tree for my other little electronic things. Alright, but I'll bring him back out. All right, I got this candle, uh, votive holder, and I'm kind of confused about this one because, let's turn it on. Okay, so it has this in here, but I don't know if that's real wax. You, re you can't tell, but it kind of, the wax looks lopsided. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, or this was really wax somebody burned in here. I don't know. I think it's cute. The little like prancing reindeer and it looks metallic. Alright, these I didn't really need these but these were so pretty too. They're green, blue and red and they say ho well I thought they said ho ho ho. Okay, well so this one has a present. So ho ho. <laughs> Which is funny because my oldest daughter, she used to call Santa Ho-Ho when she was little. So that's funny. I'll probably put those in her room. And she can see those when she comes home for Christmas. Um, this plastic ornament I got at a thrift store. It's plastic. It might be old. I got it for a quarter. I just thought it was neat. Either to keep like this or to spray paint. Um, and there was another one I had. I can't remember where I put it. Uh, I don't know. I think it was green. These, I don't know, because some of my things have gotten mixed up. I don't know if I show these in another video. But, just in case I didn't, I got these to resell. Uh, these are the wine glass jewelry. They're little penguins. And they're glass... They are so cute. I don't drink wine. Um, but I thought they were cute. I like the different colors. Green, orange. I think that one's blue, pink, yellow, and red. But they were really pretty. Um, wine glass charms. That's what I'm trying to say. This I got to resell. But if it doesn't, I probably will make it my stocking because I'm tired of my stocking. My stocking does not fit my personality and I looked at it this year and I was like, I don't even want that stocking anymore. Uh, this is real pretty. It's Bucilla and it's a snowflake pattern and I'm assuming you will put your own name at the top because my name is not Wendy but it's new in the package. Okay, this I bought to resell as well. These next two items. Um, I love the movie A Christmas Carol, and I think, you know, there's so many versions of it. I think my favorite one is with George C. Scott. I love the time period. I don't necessarily like decorating from, with that time period, but I, I just love that movie. And this reminded me of that. I don't know if he has anything to do with it, but he's, I guess, could be an ornament or, uh... You could just put him on the shelf, but he's a caroler, and I thought he was neat. I got this because Ziggy, who does not love Ziggy, and he is in his Christmas attire, Jolly Holidays, and he has on his cap, which reminds me of <laughs> Cousin Eddie from Christmas Vacation, except Ziggy's is not leather. Got him for 99 cents. He's in pretty good shape. He could actually be an ornament. Or he could sit on the shelf. 
I like him. Okay. This I got because my sister, I believe, had one. She sold it. I don't think I want to sell this one. I don't know where I'll put it. But it's a crocheted uh, Christmas tree. And it was 99 cents. Um, just jingle bells. But I thought that was really pretty. I wish I could do that. Oh, and it has this little pocket. So I'm not sure what you put in the pocket. Maybe a treat? I don't know. Nine, ten. Okay, so it's got ten circles. I'm not sure. You could put little, like, packages in there. That would be cute. Those little, like, full-covered packages. So we're going to probably hang that on the wall. I got these vintage Christmas balls. They're not in perfect shape, but that just makes them pretty to me. Um, let's see. You just say made in the USA at the top. And I believe this bag was made in the USA. But I thought the color was pretty. And it's not red. It's not pink. It's just somewhere in between. So I might use these with the silk Christmas balls that uh, I'm going to do a garland. Make a garland out of. Okay. This little house was interesting. It came in this box. And it's obviously... German, and I don't speak German. I'm going to have to look at this. It was only a quarter. I'm assuming you put a tea light in it. And then it's got the opening up here like a chimney. All right, so if you look at the roof, at first I thought gingerbread house. And I think when I glanced at it, I thought these were candy canes, but they're not. But if you look closely... All right, there's a cat and a mouse. It's not real Christmassy. There's, um, I guess, a squirrel with a gingerbread up there. I guess it must be a gingerbread house. So it's got the boy and the girl. And then it's got this lady with a cat on her back. Okay, so that kind of reminded me of Hansel and Gretel. And this being, I don't know, a candy house? Okay, sorry for the interruption. Back to the video. Now, this is where, I think I ended with this. So we don't know what that is. I'm going to research that and see what that is. Okay, this is where my brain doesn't work sometimes. These little deer were in a Ziploc lunch sandwich bag. And I was putting them together and could not figure out why in the world they would not spell love. That all the little deer cooperated, the L, the O, the E, because see their bottoms are flat, flat, and why this, why would they do a V but put the flat part here, until I noticed that I am dumb, and it's not love, it is N, O, and L. It spells Noel. Why in the world did I think reindeer would spell love? So yeah. Some days it takes me a minute. Those are so cute. Alright, for the next thing I found these uh, handkerchiefs uh, for 99 I do not like that. I love this thrift store, but they write on it with Sharpie and it makes me so mad. Season's greetings. Because I bought these to resell. I want to see if I can get that off. I might not. I might use these in the bathroom on a Christmas towel or I don't know. But these is really pretty. I love the candles and the silver flame. 
Season's greetings. Okay, this I bought because this glaze is so pretty. It could be like a candy dish. It could be hung on the wall. It could be just for display. But I liked it because it says Merry Christmas 1970 and that's the year I was born. So somebody made this for somebody. And it does have a crack, you can see there, but I don't think it shows. Yeah, well, you can kind of feel it right there, but I just love this. So it's a Christmas bell. I think they did a good job, and they usually put their initials. Let's see, this was a, let's see if I can turn it around. Hopefully not break it. It looks like it says Atlanta Mold. I'm not sure. I'll have to get my magnifying glass out. And I don't know if the person that made it called themselves Mom McSee. Like, I don't know if they were a McDonald, a McMaster. I don't even know if that is what the MC is for. Or it's for Mom MC. But I thought that was really pretty. Okay. I got this to hang on the refrigerator. Magnetic notepad. Then it's gonna hang on there. This I got, I think it was a quarter, but it's very old and yellowed, but I just thought it was neat. I like the gold um, snowflake or star. I don't know if something else went with it, but I just thought it was cool because it was old. Okay, and this. Let me see if I can crank this up with one hand. I thought this was really neat. I don't know if it'll... Well, it does work. I don't know if it'll work on this rug. This is North Pole Express, and it's a little metal train. Four cars. And... Okay, so maybe it'll... I promise it does work, but it has the little wind-up key, and yeah, there it goes, okay, see, and once again, they've written on the item, oh, I'm going to have to say something to them, okay, so uh, someone was trying to sell this for $9, and this is another one where the sticker is going to mess up the tag, but this was made by Russ, and you can kind of see that right there. That makes me so mad. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to try to get that off, but I mean, I don't want to resell this, but who wants? It, even if I buy something for myself, I'm always taking off the price tag. I can't stand it when the price tag's on it, but if you're reselling, then you don't want a Sharpie marker on it. Okay, so I got that. And then this is not Christmas related, but I thought it was cool. And I believe I paid 99 cents for this. And I think it's where you dig a hole for your, like, tulip bulbs. Or any kind of flower bulbs. And I didn't have one, so I think you jam it in there, twist it, drop your bulb in, and then put the dirt over it. Yeah. So... That's for me. And I want to show you this neat advent calendar. I guess it's an advent calendar. This is so awesome, but it's so sad at the same time. It's very pretty. Christ the Savior is born up top. And you have the little drawers or doors. So you have 1 through 24. And yes, I have looked in all of these. It is an incomplete set. And I was so bummed. And I asked the guy if maybe there was somewhere where little pieces that were lost became, you know, in a lost and found. He didn't know. He said they probably got swept up. I said it might have got donated incomplete anyway. 
but I've researched who made this and I can't find these. I've looked up replacement parts on eBay, but I'm going to keep it for now and then I'm going to hold out hope and hope that I can find replacement pieces to this particular one. But you would take the pieces out of here, so each day, and then you would hang them. It has these little hooks, little tiny gold hooks. And so, like, there's Mary. And the, it does have a baby Jesus, which I've never seen a black-haired baby Jesus, but that's okay. He's cute. And let me show you the pieces I do have. There's a lamb, a shepherd, a camel, two camels. There's one of the wise men, another camel, another shepherd. There's another wise man, and the manger. And we have the angel, or one of the angels. I think there was more than one angel. So we at least have the three wise men. So let me show you the box. So if y'all know anything, y'all can let me know. This, um, it was four fifty, but I asked him to, if he would, you know, reduce the price because not all the pieces were there, and I think he took a dollar off. Um... So, it comes with three angels, three camels, two, three shepherds, comes with a cow, a sheep, I don't know what that is, maybe those are the gifts, yeah, these must be the gifts, another sheep, a donkey, wise man, wise man, wise man, and it was created exclusively for family Christian stores, I have researched that to death. It was sold for $24.99. So hopefully, I would love to keep this because it is cute. I've never had an advent calendar. Um, but maybe I'll find the replacement parts for it. If not, maybe I could make some. Uh, maybe find some little wood, flat wood, little pieces like this. And maybe find an image on the computer and then put it over it but I wish it was complete it is so cute I love it so you could let's see I guess you would sit it up there's no way to hang it you could actually hang it if you wanted to you could put hooks on the back but anyway I tried and like I said I did look in all these doors because I was get. I even looked on the shelf under the shelf around the uh where it was sold Hoping that maybe, like, it's going to be up under there on the floor. I was digging for these. But, that's alright. We might find them. We might not. But, that is it for that haul. And, I'm about to do a third video of my electronic items. Thanks for watching. If you like any of the items, please comment. If you like the video, share, subscribe. If you don't want to do any of that, just leave a comment. Merry Christmas.